everyone. I'm Mike from Regala Photography, where we talk about everything photography. Today, we're talking about whether or not the Canon R5 is still a good purchase in 2024. Should you purchase the R5 or wait for the R5 Mark II to release later on this year? Let's find out. First off, let's, let's take a quick recap. The Canon R5 was released back in 2020. It was a game changer with its 45 megapixel, megapixel sensor, uh, AK video, and impressive autofocus. But how does it hold up four years later? We'll have to find out. Um, I've had the Canon R5 for a little over a year now, and I will say I do not crave any other camera. This thing takes amazing photos. Video is the best I've been, I've uh, seen out of a hybrid camera. And overall, I can do whatever I, well, whatever I throw at it, the R5 can handle. The only drawback that I have with the, with the R5 is the 30 minute time limit for video recording. Of course, you can cure this with a simple firmware update if Canon would please send it out. However, you can also overcome this drawback by using something like the Atomos uh, Ninja 5 and 5 Plus. But this is a costly extra purchase. I love my Ninja and I use it for all my vi YouTube videos and all my video recordings. In the past four years, we've seen some fierce competition. Brands like Sony, Nikon, and Panasonic have stepped up their game. But the R5 sensor and video capabilities still manage to hold um, a strong position, especially among professional photographers. With its uh, spectacular autofocus and 45 megapixel sensor, you can capture some amazing photos and crop in if you, if you need to, without ruining the image. Plus, the R5 uh, has great low light capabilities and its ISO can be stretched quite far. The Canon R5 can keep up with many of the newer cameras on the market today. Um, in camera time, four years for a camera is still a young device. To this day, photographers still using the 5D Mark IV and taking amazing photos. Now, if you need video, well then the 5D capabilities are okay, but they do lack many of the features of the R5. Where the R5 shines is in its user experience. The ergonomic design combined with its robust build makes it uh, a favorable for field work and uh, anything out in the, in the elements in the weather. And let's not forget the reliable autofocus, which continues to outperform many of the new uh, models. Also, Canon has probably the best user interface in regards to uh, ease of use with its menus, uh, speed and functionality. Try using a Nikon or a Sony camera and you'll really appreciate Canon's thought process in creating its menu uh, system. The Canon R5 is a professional camera with consumer appeal. However, it's not all perfect. The world of photography has seen significant advancement in the last four years particularly in AI features and battery efficiency. The R5's battery life is definitely one of its weakest downfalls. Uh, they've been using basically the same Canon uh, LPE6 technology for many years with very little upgrade to it. Also, as mentioned earlier, the 30 minute time limit on video recording is just insane. Other camera manufacturers have eliminated that in their cameras years ago. Uh, this time limit was implemented in 1997 and was basically phased out in 2016. While the R5 is still a strong camera, it lacks some of these modern innovations. As of the recording of this video, the price of the Canon R5 um, has dropped in price from its original release date, but not really by much. Currently, it goes for around $3,400. Uh, that, again, that's at the time of this video. Considering its price point now, 
the R5 is definitely more ac accessible to uh, um, a larger range of photographers. But is it the best value for the money in 2024? That's debatable. Given the features newer cameras have uh, with similar price points, based on specs, the Nikon Z8 and Sony uh, A7 uh, uh, 4 or 5, I should say, beat the Canon R5 on paper. However, on paper, uh, and real world use cases can vary widely. The Canon R5 still has the better user experience. It is cheaper than the other uh, cameras and the newer current models and probably the best hybrid camera compared to the Nikon Z8 and the Sony uh, ZR5. One other downside to the Canon R5 is its lens ecosystem. While they are some of the best lenses on the market today. Canon's RF lens ecosystem is currently limited to only Canon lenses. Uh, this drives the prices up tremendously. However, currently uh, in the news, there has been uh, uh, some rumors that Canon will finally be allowing third party lenses to be manufactured. That will hopefully bring the price of lenses down and also to increase the amount of lenses in the Canon ecosystem. Is the Canon R5 best in 2024? It's a solid choice, especially for those loyal to the Canon ecosystem. Its performance and uh, 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 efficiency are still very, very top notch. However, for those seeking uh, cutting edge technology, exploring other options might be worthwhile. Ultimately, it depends on your specific needs and your budget. If you want a professional hybrid camera with a fantastic user experience, well, then the Canon R5 is still a great choice in 2024. But if you love the R5, but you have to have the latest and greatest technology, then you should probably wait for the Canon R5 Mark II, uh, supposed to be released later on this year. The other uh, uh, po or possible choice would be the Canon R1, if you want to stick in the Canon ecosystem, which is also rumored to be released later on this year. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to the channel and click that like button. It really, really does help. Ring that bell if you want to be notified when my next video is posted. Until next time, take care, everyone.